Hi guys, have you ever wondered all these vehicles moving around us, how do they work? What drives them? Or if I ask you, how does the fuel convert into energy and the vehicles move? Well, think about it. Okay, one more thing. If I keep this steaming cup of coffee on the table and leave it for some time, what would happen? Well, the coffee would be cold in some time, correct? But why so? Why does it happen? Or same way, if I have ice cube on my hand and in some time it melts down. Again, the question is, why is that happening? Now, you know what guys? Coffee getting cold and ice cube melting, that simply happens because of the transfer of heat from one body to another body. Or if I say it this way, if I talk about coffee, Coffee is at higher temperature as compared to the surroundings, correct? That has higher temperature. So what happens is it loses heat to the surrounding and therefore it becomes cold. Same way, if I talk about the melting of ice, what is happening in that case? Well, in that case, my body that has a higher temperature as compared to the ice. And that's why ice melts because the heat transfer has taken place. Similarly guys, now if I talk about the working of fuel in the car, what happens then? Well, simply the transformation of energy, that is, the chemical energy gets converted to the mechanical energy. And that's how the car moves. And you know what? Don't worry, right now we don't have to go into the depth. We just need to understand what is happening and we are going to talk about it in the upcoming videos in very detail. Next thing, the question is that we never thought from this point of view. What about this? But what is this mysterious thing that is driving everything? And not just these things, the whole universe is working on this mysterious thing. Everything happening around us that is governed by this thing called as thermodynamics. Well, you have heard about it, but this time we are going to learn everything in detail. Well, you know what? Thermodynamics is a Greek word where the word thermo that means heat and dynamics that means motion. Well, that's what the literal meaning is in simple words if I have to say. Then if I talk about the exact definition, we can say that thermodynamics is the branch of science which deals with the transfers of energy or the changes in energy that happens during any physical or chemical process. Now, since we have to talk in terms of chemistry, we can say that chemical thermodynamics is the branch of science that deals with the processes in which the chemical energy is involved. So guys, we can say that coffee getting cold, ice melting and the fuel in the car, all these phenomena are governed by thermodynamics. Well, for now, we will just understand that thermodynamics that governs everything and these phenomena as well. We are going to talk about them, what causes them, how do they take place and all the energy changes in the upcoming videos. For now, we just need to understand that thermodynamics is the cause behind everything. Alright guys, since this is the beginning of the chapter, we are introducing thermodynamics for the first time. We need to know about certain terms that are going to come in this chapter over and over again. Well guys, if I talk about one of these terms, it is system. So anything under observation is called as system. That simply means whatever I want to study about, I will be referring it to as system in terms of thermodynamics. Like if I want to study about this table or this chair or maybe this board, everything that I want to know about, whatever I want to study about, it will be considered as a system. So guys, you know what? In practice, we say that everything apart from the system is referred to as surroundings. But in practice, only the environment which is relevant to the system, they are referred to as the surrounding. Now the last one, that is boundary. So boundary, that means simply anything which separates the system and the surrounding. That is referred to as boundary. Well, these are simple terms that we talk about in our daily life, but this time we are talking in terms of thermodynamics for the same terms. And you know what? This boundary that can be thermally conducting or non-conducting. 
and sometimes it could be real or imaginary. All right, guys. Now let's try to understand system, surroundings, and boundary in terms of a general example. Well, all of you must be going to the labs to do the experiment. But have you ever thought that that setup can be considered as a system, surrounding, or boundary? Well, let's take a look at that. If I talk about this particular setup, we are heating something in the conical flask, correct? So that means we are trying to know about this particular compound. And what did I say? Anything under observation that is referred to as system. That is correct. So that means the content of the flask is the system. The flask, the whole apparatus, this burning flask, everything is considered as the surrounding. Even the whole lab is considered as the surrounding. And if I talk about the boundary, this glass that is separating the heat and the contents of the flask. So that means glass is the boundary. So that way you can classify everything into system, surrounding and boundary. Well guys, now a question might come to your mind that why should we study thermodynamics? How does it affect our life? Well, you know what? We are going to get answers to all of these questions in the upcoming videos. For now, let me just tell you what all new things you are going to learn in this chapter. We will see that how the energy flows between the system and the surroundings. We will even learn about a new chemical apparatus that is a calorie meter. And you know what? Calorie meter can be used to measure the heat produced or released in a particular chemical reaction. Did you ever think about it that we can measure it by ourselves? Well, now we can and we will learn that in the upcoming video. One more thing. We will even learn that whether a particular chemical reaction is going to take place or not. By now guys, you've just heard about heat and the energy. But you know what? Now we are going to talk about many new terms like entropy, internal energy, free energy, enthalpy and many new terms. And you know what? These are just different forms of energy and heat which we didn't study till now. But we are going to do that now. So, you know what, this is all that you are going to learn in this chapter. You are going to learn about how everything around you is happening. What is the cause? What is driving them? All about the energy things and everything related to it. For that, stay tuned and this was all for today's class. Let's summarize what we have done in this class. Thermodynamics it is the branch of science which deals with the different forms of energy and the transfers of energy that accompany a chemical and physical process. Chemical Thermodynamics It deals with the study of process in which chemical energy is involved. System The part of the universe we are focusing on or anything under observation. Surroundings All other matter that can interact with the system is called surroundings. Boundary. Anything which separates the system and the surroundings is called boundary.